happy day everyone this is orekoya olushego this is mathematics fundamentals on youtube please before we go into today's topic do not forget to like share subscribe and click on the notification button to have more of my video today uh, we are taking uh mathematics another mathematics i want to uh, introduce to us what is called number system the reason why we study number system is that in mathematics much more uh, reference is made to the use of number and our ability to recognize the uh, number the particular set a given number belongs to the better for us towards getting acceptable solutions to problems now we are starting with what is called number system that's the topic please before we go further this is my contact uh, phone uh, number 0814136457 and for partnership, this is my open, open number, which is 814-136-4573. Thank you. Now, we are starting with a number system. Actually, what is a number? A number is a representation of our physical world. It's our ability to quantify the physical world. For us to be able to quantify the physical world, we have to use certain symbols. And those symbols are what we refer to as a number now this particular number has a system now in number system the number system consists of two parts the first part is called the real part the real the real part and the second part of this number system is called the imaginary or unreal part imaginary imaginary or unreal unreal part now under the real part the real part that we have here consists of what is called what is called rational rational number rational parts rational number then the second one is irrational irrational part now we normally use this symbol to represent the real part and we use this symbol to represent the imaginary part of the number system so we have the rational number system and the irrational number system under this rational number system we have what is called uh, what is called set of uh, integer 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 and this rational part is also divided both in uh, into integer and particular rational part consists of integer we normally represent integer with this symbol that's integer so this integer is further divided into what is called natural number natural number natural numbers and then what is also called the whole number the whole number now this particular whole number can be uh, Furtherly divided uh, into what is called uh, prime number, prime number, and the uh, composite number, composite number. So um, I want us to also realize something that uh, this integer can be divided into what is called odd number odd number and uh, even number now let me let us uh, describe what is a real number real number is any number that we can easily conceive imaginary number is a number that we cannot easily conceive so now this particular real number system can be represented on a number what is called number line 
number line. I'm talking about this free number, which consists of this. I'm set with on the number line. This is the symbol for free number. So this free number now can be sectioned into different parts. So when we have zero, then we have uh, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. What we have here, this set of number that we have here that continue this way, are uh, called set of whole, whole numbers. Now, if we remove zero from this set of whole number, we start from one, and so on and so forth, then we have what is called natural or counting number. Natural or counting number. This particular natural number consists of uh, uh, integers that are positive integers except uh, zero. Now, when we talk about set of uh, integers, set of integers consists of both the whole number, zero, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. And they are negatives. So we have minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on and so forth. And they are negative. So this particular number system here is called set of uh, integers. Set of integers. So this set of integers, they are also rational number. Rational in the sense that we can write them in form of ratio. Like if for, the, for, for instance now, Apart from zero, for instance, when we have one, we can rewrite one as a one over one. We can rewrite two as two over one. We can rewrite three as three over one. Therefore, integers are rational numbers. They can be written as a fraction or in ratio. Now, this set of whole numbers that we have here are divided into what is called prime number and composite number. What I mean by prime numbers? Prime numbers, uh, they are numbers that have two factors. They have two sets of factors. So if I have prime number P, it has factor, which is one, and itself, set of two factors and itself. And these particular prime numbers, because uh, when we talk about set of uh, uh, two factors, what I mean by that is that uh, this particular prime number P has two factors, one and itself. Like for instance, it starts from two, three, four, no, sorry, two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, and so on and so forth. Why do we call them prime? They have two factors. Like for instance, this two has a factor of one and two itself. This three has a factor of one and three itself, and so on and so forth. Notes. Notes one is never is never a prime a prime number. Why? If I write one, I can have one times one. So one has just a single factor, which is one. But according to the definition of prime number, prime number has two factors, itself and one. So one has just one factor because it's repeating itself. Now when we talk about composite number, composite numbers a number that can be broken down into more than two factors. Like for instance, four can be broken down into a factor of one, uh, two, and four itself. So it has more than two factors. Another composite factors that we can talk about is 12. 12 has one and 12 itself as factor. Then it has two as a factor. It has three as a factor. It has a six as a factor. So this number that I have here, they are known as a composite uh, Composite number. Composite numbers are numbers, unlike prime numbers, that has more than two factors. So, um, I want us to also take note of something that uh, this particular re, uh, re number system, I mean, the number system that I indicated here, this number system, number system. Is a union of three parts, uh, three part and then uh, the imaginary part. It's a union between the real part and the uh, imaginary part. So I wanted to take note of that. I believe that you must have learned one or two things concerning number system. But before we round up, 
I want to also make reference to these rational numbers. We normally use this symbol to represent a uh, rational number. And the rational number can be written in form of a set. Like for instance, if it consists of elements of number x, so that uh, we can have a ratio p over n. So this ratio p over n belongs to this uh, rational number. So that uh, the number n and p, they are elements of an uh, integer. Where p, I'm sorry, where n should not be equal to 0. Because if n is equal to 0, then this rational number becomes undefined. So take note of that. So now, I want to also tell you something that a irrational number, irrational number, irrational number, we normally write it as a Q prime. We normally write irrational number as Q prime. So when we have real number system, Real number system. When we take away real number system is just the addition of the rational uh, number union irrational number q prime. Take note of that. So I believe that you must have learned one or two things as regard the the idea, the concept of a number system. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and keep on looking forward to have more my video. Have a nice day. Bye.